Hi, my name is Terry Harden, and I'm auditioning for Comedy with Class. So back in the early days of my life, I loved Star Wars. Everything Star Wars. I sat in the theater, the room stretched for me, and all of a sudden, I had seen it 67 times in one week. I had a friend who loved The Price is Right. You know, the show with Bob Barker. She calls me up and asks me if I can take her because she has no way to drive. So I get in my car, Vader 1, that's what the license plate says, and my car breathes. I had put in a cassette tape that made it breathe, just like Darth Vader. Did I say crazy about Star Wars? I was crazy about it. So my friends didn't mind that I drove in my car that breathed like Darth Vader all the way downtown to CBS Studios. Now, the way this works when you want to be a contestant on The Price is Right, unbeknownst to me, was that they line you up in rows of 100 for people. So four, 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 four. There I stand, because she insists that I go. Now, needless to say, I have no TV, which means I've never seen this show, which means I have no idea what The Price is Right even is, which means what the heck am I standing in a line wanting to be a contestant? The answer is no, I don't want to be a contestant. But there I am, dressed in my hand-illustrated overalls, because I'm an artist, and I have buttons all the way down the straps. May the force be with you. Guido, uh, that's an alien. And the, the Wookiee uh, with the blaster, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker. You get the picture. That is my outfit. So what happens is the producer goes down the line and he talks to you. That's all, just talks to you. So then he stands in front of me and he says, wow. You must love Star Wars. Yes, I do. Well, who said this? She doesn't look like much, but she's got it where it counts. I said, ha, 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 ha. easy, Han Solo. Who said this? Buta tuta solo, sa fijale, maricantica, wakichila, jabawaninchiko hat, we try to atrani wana riska. Guido. Wow. Whoa. Well, it was nice to meet you. And he moves on. Now there's a lady standing to my right. And she all of a sudden goes, Oh, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. This has happened to me. I have been here four times. And every, every time the person to the the person to my left always gets picked. Well, didn't I say there was four people deep? So I told her go all the way to the end and be the farthermost people person on the left so everyone's on the right. Is the way she looked at me. Like I was crazy. Okay, maybe I was. I did see it 67 times. Now it's time to go in. And we all file in. And my friends are like, you're in, you're going to get it, you're going to win a car, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. I'm like, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, I've never seen the show. This would be ridiculous. I make an idiot out of myself. No, 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 no. And the third person to come down is Terry Arden. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so I stumble down to the little podium with the microphone that goes like this. Most of you probably know that. And I'm standing there going, <laughs> Bob Barker says, Welcome, Terry Harden. And I go, Yeah, you did it. Hi. Thank you. The idea is to guess the price. And when the first four come down and I was number three, you have to guess the price of an item. The item before me was a wine rack. A lovely wine rack. I bid uh, $400. Problem was, because I don't drink, I forgot to price the wine. There you see, there was six bottles of wine in there, and I, oh well, didn't see them. So I didn't get chosen. So that lady, who was the closest, goes up and does their thing. So now it comes to the second prize, which is a trash compactor. And for those of you who don't know what a trash compactor is, it's a thing you put the trash in, it goes <laughs> And you pull out a cube. It was very modern back in the day, and it was super cool. And I had been pricing these because why not? They're super cool. So 
I know the price of this. The price of this is $325. So I'm going to do this. I've got it. The only one little caveat is that there was another lady coming running down because one lady went up, another lady comes down, or a man can come down. But the point is, another person comes down and they get to bid first. And will you believe it? <laughs> they said, $325. I go, Terry, what's your bid? Uh, yeah, $325. Uh, I mean, uh, $300. And then next person, next person. All of a sudden, you know what that means, says Bob Barker. No, I really uh, <clears throat> don't. I have no idea what that means. Uh, that means, audience, somebody's won $100. Wow! And that someone is you, Terry Arden. Come on up. Now I'm like, oh, I've done it now. <laughs> oh, 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 great. And so I stand before Bob Barker and he says, aren't you thrilled? And I go, yes, I'm really <laughs> mm, happy. And uh, he says, you've won $100 and it's right here in this pocket. Come on and go get it. So I reach down and I fumble around and I go, it's not there. And he goes, <laughs> it's actually right here. And I go, what? And he gives me the $100. Now, throughout the show, I bid on prizes just as you imagine, and everything is cool, and now I get to bid on the big prize. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I get to bid for the car. There's only one problem. I don't want a car. And I tell Bob, I don't want a car. He says, you need a car. I don't want a car. Well, fake it. I don't want to fake it. I don't. I have a car. My car's Vader 1. <gasps> it breathes. I have a car. No, no, no. I don't want a car. Finally, for the show, of course, I bid on the car. And, of course, I'm way too low. So I say to him, oh, <laughs> silly me. I thought you wanted me to bid on the car with the engine. 